Hey folks, Sook here from Zen Rigs, and I just want to take a minute to show you and talk about the Zen Rigs Ultimate Preset Pack featuring all kinds of cool morphing presets. <laughs> I've been using morphing presets since back in the days of the Ultra, um, when with a bunch of other folks on the Fractal Forum, people were trying to figure out a way to be able to smoothly blend between two tones um, using an expression pedal. The idea being it makes it easier for gigging, so you don't have to kind of look down and think about buttons to press. You can literally rock backwards and forwards. And also it sounds pretty cool to kind of go smoothly from one distinct tone to another. As the products have gotten, the, pro the, uh, the factor products have got more and more powerful coming up to the Axe FX3, there are now really cool ways to doing this. So as long as, as although I've been selling these preset packs for, for many, many years, the Axe FX3 version is kind of the, the best thing I've ever, I've ever done <laughs> or had. Um, so that's the ultimate preset pack. I've put this together as a gigging pack. So I actually use this. Uh, it comes with a, with a few presets. Um, one which is just a straight out rock kind of preset um, featuring the, the, the Fractal Audio amps. One which is based on the AC20 uh, amps, which are pretty cool. I've got a funky one in there, which shows you all kinds of wackiness you can do with this with a little bit of creativity. And a two cab version which lets you have two entirely separate paths with separate cabs as well. So you can do things like take amps and cabs from the factory presets that you like, plot them into the template, and you've got a nice way to morph between factory sounds as well. So here's how this thing works. Let me show you this, okay? So this one here uh, is, oh, let's press this button. There we go. This is an example of the brown morph, uh, and this particular um, scene I've got it set to here is the clean to crunch scene. So the idea is, you got this grid. The cool thing about the coolest and the most sort of uh, thought that's gone into this is this section over here, which is the bit that actually facilitates the morph. The idea is you've got two entirely separate um, effects paths here, signal paths, and on those you can put whatever you want to. So the lower row over here is the one which would get, which you would hear when your expression pedal is heel down. The top row is the one you'd hear when the expression pedal is toe down. All right, so kind of a clean, dirty if you want, or you know, a, a first and second amp setup. So the way I've got this set up here is heel down is clean sound in this particular preset. Toe down is a crunchy sound. And the idea being that you can blend between them simply by going. All right, so this is quite handy for gigging because what you can do is have whatever you want on this row. If you wanted to have a, uh, for example, a sound which goes from, let's have a think, uh, I'll pick something on here just to show you, but there are, there are crazy ones I could show you later on. So if I had, for example, a phaser going into a clean amp like this, and maybe I want to have a, a pan trem going at the same time, I don't really hear that, can you? Let's put a chorus on there. Oh, that's pretty nasty, okay. <laughs> from there, let's say I want to go to, there's my clean sound. Let's say I want to go to uh, a distorted sound, which has got the pitch block on, um, giving me kind of a, a pog type of effect. So here's my clean, and here's my... The idea being now... the idea okay not the best example but you see what I'm talking about now cool things you can do with this template which again like I say is kind of where all the thinking is is you've got complete control over the type of spillover between the two uh, signal parts so if you want to have full spillover and what I'll do to demonstrate this on this top row here by the way all the effects associated to this top row are up here and this is all documented you get a user guide of this all the effects to do with the uh, the lower row are down here including delays and reverbs which run in parallel Let's say, for example, the crunch sound, I take off the delay and I take off the reverb. I use plex delays here just to kind of um, keep the CPU um, uh, usage low, which is fine for gigging. So now for my clean sound, I've got this with a nice big delay. If I go to the crunch sound, totally dry. The way I've got this set up right now, using this multiplexer block, is that there's spillover between the two rows. So if I was to do this, mute the sound with my hand and then switch with my expression pedal to the top row. You can hear it keeps on going, right? What I can do instead is on here, just flick to channel B. And if I try it now, it completely cuts off. There's no spillover. Okay, so you've got total control over how you want that to work. Um, if you leave it on channel A, 
then you'll get proper blend, proper spillover between the two rows, uh, which is probably how I use it most of the time. So. <laughs> All right, so that's fundamentally how this thing works. Um, the samples I've got in here, the brown morph uh, has just, the way, they're, sorry, this is how it's set up, right? So the amps, I've got four amps set up, four channels set up in each one of the amps, which go from clean all the way to kind of pretty nasty. And the idea is you just choose what you want on the lower row, a clean amp. And again, this is all documented, a crunchy amp, a lead amp, and the same for the top row, and then just choose your effects and blend between them. Save it as a scene. Um, and away you go. You've got eight scenes in there, possibly of completely independent sounds. Um, and I've got everything from just straightforward to kind of ridiculous. If I show you something else, actually, let's have a look here, right? If I go to the AC morph. So the AC morph now is based on the AC amps, the AC20, which is, I think, a really, really cool sounding amp on the Axe FX. There you go, AC20, 12AX7 bass. So let's, uh, let's see what we could do here. Let's say, for example, right now, this is set up for, to go from clean to curly. Curly just being clean with a bit of hair on it. Excuse me. Right? So... All right, let's make that a bit nastier. So this top amp, what I'm going to do is let's, uh, let's whack up the gain a little bit. Let's put up an input boost on this. Lower amp. And what I might do with the lower amp, let's just take that delay off. So we've, got, we've just got reverb on the bottom. And on the top, we've got lots of nice delay. Okay, let's put that delay up a little bit. Again, all this is documented, the different types of delays and the levels and what have you. And I might stick a drive amp in front of that as well. Let's put a, a blues overdrive in front of that. So for my crunch sound now, my clean sound. So as well as doing wacky stuff with this, like I say, this is super useful for gigging. So you don't have to have two entirely crazy sounds. You could go. So it doesn't have to be crazy. It can be nice and subtle. The other example I've put in here in the pack is this thing called a funky morph. And this is really just to show you how creative you can get with this. So here's an example of something called a nice note of vomiting Borg. I'm only gonna show you these briefly because there's another video on this. So nice sound, rock forwards. Vomiting Borg. Okay, let me show you one more from here. So let's take a look at Jean-Michel Jean -Michel Satch. So this one, inspired by Jean-Michel Jarre and, of course, Joe Satriani. Um... Heel down, toe down. absolutely no delay and a smooth fade between them so that's it and if you also want to check it out the wonderful Leon Todd has also recorded a review of this pack um, which you'll find on the Zen Riggs website www.zenrigs.com if you're not there right now um, check them out see what you think uh, these are an awful lot of fun and it lets you create your own morphs of whatever you want um, fantastic for live use great for home great for recording in fact my album don't look back the entire album was recorded with uh, with a selection of these morphing presets. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, it makes a huge difference to me. Uh, and uh, take care, I'll see you around.